Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. The Art of Nonconformity was my first book, and that, that's a collection of stories of people living unconventional lives. Um, so all different backgrounds, um, you know, people who have started traveling, people who have started businesses, um, people who have you know, checked out of something and checked into something else. Uh, one of the stories I like from that book uh, is a guy named Alan Bacon. And Alan was a self-described, middle-aged, regular guy. You know, he didn't feel like he could just you know, abandon everything and move overseas you know, like some people do. Um, but he wanted to make some change in his life. He found himself kind of discontented. And so he began what he called the series of life experiments. And the life experiments were very small things in the beginning, like going to the art museum during his lunch break um, or taking a photography class. You know. And then he started traveling a little bit. Um, he got this overseas work assignment. Uh, he took his family with him. They went to Paris. You know, he came back. He eventually started consulting and you know, became totally self-employed. But he, he traces the whole thing to the idea of the life experiments, um, to just kind of like playing with the idea of change and being open to new things. You know, what I like to do is actually pick three things that I want to do or I hope to achieve, you know, during the weekend uh, or the week or however long you're here. And there's always so much happening. Uh, it's easy to just kind of get lost and, you know, lost in the moment. So I always just pick three things. So in my case, I'm hosting a party tonight. I want to really focus on that. A lot of my readers come out. I want to do a good job at that. Uh, you know, the other thing is I'm, I'm talking about my book on Monday, so I want to do a good job with that. Uh, there's a couple of people I want to specifically meet. So I pick two or three things, but then for the rest of the time, you know, I just come and do fun stuff um, on every corner. There's fun stuff. There's a party everywhere. There's a meetup everywhere. And, and so I think some of the magic happens when you just meet people and you have two or three things uh, you know, in mind that you want to achieve as well. Um, you know, I, I began by working in West Africa. I spent about four years there. And that after that is when I started doing more travel. And, and what I learned is uh, you know, most entrepreneurs around the world, they don't set out to become entrepreneurs. They don't wake up in the morning and say, I want to be an entrepreneur. You know, they may not even use that word. Uh, they just think in terms of you know, providing for their families. They think about like, making a way for themselves. And it's, like, uh, you know, it's not so much about getting a job or even starting a company or whatever. It's about uh, you know, how can I buy something and sell it? You know, how can I you know, work the barter system? What skill do I have that other people value? You know, what skill do I have that other people value enough to exchange money for? So there are entrepreneurs all over the world, but most of them don't think of themselves as such.